All right, guys, we are looking at the A Plus System Upgrade Kit and how to use it. Here is your mast top drilling jig. This screws into your mast. You've got your 3.5 drill centers with this rig here. This screw comes out and we also use it in the front foil update. I'll show you. And you got your 6.5 and your 8 mil bit, your barrel nuts, your shims, good to go. But right now we're going to drill out a 1550 V1 on an existing fuselage that you can also use the A plus system screw and barrel nut with your 1550 on your existing fuse. This pilot hole setter, you take it out of the mast jig, put the mast jig down, your 3.5 mil drill bit goes in this and that sets your hole position. All you need tool wise is a decent drill. Put your bit in the drill, nice and firm. Put your foil on the fuse, seat it all the way on. You've got your pilot hole setting screw with the hole in the middle. You put that in, you're gonna do that up all the way. That's done up. This is all sitting in there in the correct position. Take your 3.5 mil drill through the hole. You're gonna drill a pilot hole through the other side of the foil. That's it for the 3.5 mil bit. That's also it for the pilot hole setter. We're gonna take that out. We're gonna take the foil off. That's out. Pop your foil off, you got a pilot hole, okay? This hole is in exactly the right position. Now you need to make it eight mil, okay? And that's what we're gonna do next. So you've drilled your pilot hole with your 3.5 mil bit from the other side. Now we're gonna take the 6.5 mil bit, put it in your drill. Now there's a little trick here, because these drill bits are brand new, set your drill to reverse, okay? We're gonna run it in reverse. Get your foil somewhere where you can lean on it firmly. I'm just kneeling on it here, right? I've got my drill bit set in reverse. That helps keep the hole centered for the first bit. Get your drill square, run it in reverse, okay? Now, because this bit's really sharp, it's just gonna help keep it centered. Now, when we start running forward, you can wind it through because you've got a bit of a key for it. But this, these new drill bits will really try and bite in, so you don't, wanna, you don't actually need to push down. You need to just keep it, get it spinning. Sit it in the hole, that's it. That is your M6.5 hole through there. You can just leave it in there for a second. Clean out the hole a touch. So you've done your M6 bit, take that out. Get your M8, put it in your drill. Make sure it's firm. Now remember, you're gonna roll the drill backwards. Now, you wanna take your file that's in the kit and put it in the other side of the hole. So when your drill bit goes through, it can hit that and it won't go through the other side because the M8 bit is gonna bite, right? Then you're gonna get your M8 bit. Job done. Take that out. You have your countersink bit, okay? It's a 90 degree countersinker. Get that in your drill. Now, you're countersinking for the titanium barrel nut. So, just start off, don't go too radical because you don't want to countersink it too deep, right? So start off, do a bit of a countersink, have a look. Okay, that's definitely not gonna be enough. So I'm gonna do a little bit more. Now the key with the countersinking is to check with the barrel nut, okay? So what I've got here, I'm putting it in. Okay, I want to go a little bit deeper. Once you've gone deep enough, we'll just do one more. Then we're going to clean this off with the file. So, countersink bit. Check your titanium barrel nut in the hole. What you're checking for is front to back. It should be flush front to back. The sides are going to be a fraction prouder. That is actually normal. The front and back is what you want flush, here and here in the middle. So a little bit more. That's it. I'm gonna check the screw. 
Yep, feels good front and back. Now I'm gonna clean up those edges with, and the inside with the file. So in this hole here too, you just gotta clean up with the file that I'll show you guys now. Get your file that's also in the kit, little diamond file. Buff the edges, okay, the whole way around really carefully. Edges where the countersink bit has cut the carbon. Now, that's it for that, the file on that side. This outside edge here, you're gonna to wanna to hit that with 800 wet paper to clean it up so it's perfect and that'll disappear. Now we need to clean up the inside of the hole. We're gonna get the file, put it inside, and just clean up that flat. So you got your 1550 V1 on your V1 fuse. You got your screws. You're gonna put this on, give it a tap like normal. Now, the thing is, this is the 28 mil screw and barrel nut that came with your kit. Your front screw with your existing foil, you still need to use your 25 mil screw, slightly shorter. Put that one, your normal screw in the front hole. Your longer 28 mil screw is going in the rear hole. Do these up, just the same as the A plus system, but not all the way tight, so the screws are still a little loose. Then you can drop it onto its side, put the barrel nut in your tool, and you can wind that onto, its, onto the other end of the screw. Right, now you want to tighten up. Now, you really need to tighten up by hand, so we're gonna do that now. We're gonna take this out of the drill, Put it in a hand tool. You can use the drill for getting the screws in and out, but you do not want to use it for the final tighten on any of the system parts. The final tighten is always by hand. It is technically eight Newton meters of torque on all the screws, but that's firm hand tight. So we've done the top screw, the, the screws on the, on the other side of the foil. Now the barrel nut, boom. That is a 1550 V1 set up with the A-plus system barrel nut on an original system. Job done. Now, the A-plus system mast hole update. Here is the mast jig, A-plus system. You've got your pilot setter. You've got your 3.5 mil bit. Now, what you gotta do is you gotta screw this onto your mast. So you've got here a normal V1 mast. You've got your A-plus system fuse. In your normal mast, you wanna put this hole in M6 hole goes on the left, so the A plus system logo is on that size. So you got your rig on, the left hand side looking down with it upside down, okay? Do your screws up, same as normal, get them seated. Do them up, wind this in so it's just touching the mast. Make sure your holes, your screws, are done up in the holes. Get your drill. You're going to drill into it there. This is touching the mast. Just lightly. Doesn't need to be wound in tight. Just finger tight. Then you're going to put your drill in the hole. And you're going to drill this out. That is that one side done. So now the procedure is the same as the front foil for drilling out this hole to M6.5. We'll do that next. You need to take this off. So you're taking the jig all the way off. Here's your pilot hole. Now, Jade, you got the A-plus system mast jig. Do you want that? Yeah. Cool. You're gonna help me do some drilling? Yeah. Okay, all right. So, I've got an A-plus system fuse. You got your pilot hole, right? Now we're gonna take the fuse out and we're going to drill the M6.5 hole countersunk it. Then we're gonna put this pilot hole setter back in and drill through to set the pilot for the M8 hole on the other side. So there's two steps to that. Okay, let's do that now. Here, we've got this hole that you've already made with your M3.5 bit. Now you're gonna put your 6.5 bit in to your drill. Okay, remember we're going reverse again. So we're gonna start the hole in reverse. 
just for safety, we'll do the same thing. Thank you for that, Jade. That's great. Jade had the, the file. We're going to put that in the hole just as a backer so we don't drill all the way through the other side because we don't want to do that yet. So now we're going to go, we've, we've done our reverse drill for a little bit. Okay, that's set the hole. Yep, Jade's got the M8 bit over here. That's going to be next. Then we're going to drill forward, hold firmly. And I'll hold this little bit here. Here we go. Right. Now you might want to just take this thing in, or you could use a block of wood. Just anything in there to stop the bit from hitting the other side. Now this is a 6.5 on this side. So that's it. Now you're going to countersink it. This side is only for the 28 mil screw, right? So now we're ready to countersink it. All right, so we're gonna countersink this side a little. Check your screw. The main point for the countersinking, you can always do more. You don't want to too much. Just see here, we're going to do a little bit more. So now we're just going to countersink this a little bit more. With your countersinking, right? Make sure you check your screw regularly. Don't go too deep. Okay. Correct. Now, once you've got that countersunk enough, we're going to put our hole setter back in there. Put the fuselage back in but before we put the fuse in we need this file jade don't we do we need the file yeah yep we're going to file a little bit on the inside of that hole just where the drill popped through it's a really really little bit that's it done tap out the dust so you've got your hole on the left you've got your two normal holes we're going to put two screws in the normal system we're going to screw the fuselage in in this new hole you've made, you're going to put the pilot hole setter like the front foil, right? That's going to screw into the fuselage there, and you're going to drill through it with your 3.5 bit to set the hole on the other side. So first, we're going to tighten up all these screws. Right. So though, though that means that the fuselage is in 100% the correct position. Next, Jade, can you hold this? <laughs> you hold that. Nope. <laughs> right, now to drill this through, you might need to extend the drill a little bit out of here. Just carefully, I'm gonna actually set this down onto the table, the bench, drill straight down through the hole. So, we've drilled the pilot hole. Okay, now we're gonna take all these screws out and take the fuselage out. This is the pilot hole for our M8 hole for the barrel mat. So we're gonna take the fuse out and we're gonna drill this just like drilling out the front foil, exactly the same with the pilot hole here. So now we're looking at the left side, okay, where the M8 barrel nut is going to go through. You've drilled your pilot hole from the other side through the pilot hole setting screw with your three and a half. We're going to go into the six and a half. Now, Jay, can I have one of those files? Thank you. We're going to put a file into the bottom there so that the drill doesn't, when it comes out, is not going to hit the carbon on the other side of your mask. You could use a block of wood or anything. Same for all, of, all these holes. So we're using M6.5. We're going to go reverse a little bit first. Just the center of the hole. Give yourself a little bit of a take because these are new bits. They're really going to bite, right? So you don't want to press too hard. You've got to just keep it spinning. I'm hardly pressing down at all. Right, so see when it bit through, it wound down and we actually did hit that. So that's why it's in there. Now, this side we're going out to M8, right? So the next step, eight mil bit. 
This is really important with the 8mm bit that you have a block on the inside. We're going to go in reverse first. Get your hole set. Now we're going forward. It's going to bite in really hard, this 8mm bit. So you've actually got to pull it back. We're going to get it spinning. We're hardly pressing down. Okay, so you hardly want to press down. Get it spinning. And just sit it on there gently. So the next step, you've got your M8 hole for your titanium barrel nut. It's in the right place because you've used the pilot hole setter, but now you need to countersink it. So you're back on the same countersink bit. All right, check again. Okay, that's good now. Once you're happy, with how deep your hole is on your countersinker, you want to take your file that I was using as a blocker in here and just buff the edges the same as the front foil. All right, Jade, what are you filing there? You filing that? I'm going to turn that. That's it. One more thing with the file. You can feel on the inside of the hole, there's a little bit of carbon there from when the drill came through. You just want to buff that off really gently with your file. Then you want to clean up with 800 wet. Job done, let's put it together. Okay, so you've drilled out your 1550 V1. You've drilled out your mask with the barrel nut. Now let's tidy them up. But 800 wet, you can get it from any old hardware store. Buff, your, buff where you've cleaned up with the file. Now, if you want to make it like absolutely perfect um, with this upgrade, so you, you, it looks factory, then you could go up to 1200 or 1500 wet. So you can start at four or 600 with a little buff. I mean, 800 will clean it up so that it looks fine, um, but you know, it won't be completely invisible. It just depends on how much time you want to spend wet buffing, but that's probably enough on that hole and 800. If you want the, all those sanding marks to disappear, you want to go up to 1200 to 1500. So we'll do the front foil again the same. So you can see these scratches here, okay? That was from the file, so all we're doing, all right, we filed off the burrs from the drilling. Now what we're doing is we're buffing off the scratches from the file with wet paper. So we'll just put the paper in a little bit of water. I'm using 800 right now. Um, like I said before with the mast, you could start with like four or 600 and go all the way up to 2000, 1500, 1200, whatever you want, but 800 is enough to get it acceptable. So you've buffed with the 800 wet, you've put your hole in your mast, M6 on this side, M8 on the other side, you've got your 1550 or your other foil, you've drilled out the M8 hole with the barrel nut, good to go. A plus system, have fun guys. You ready Jade? Session? Let's go!